drop the shoulders down, gently engage your tummy muscles, crown your head, lengthening up, taking your hands, thumb and index finger touching, hands relaxed on your knees or hands in your lap, whatever feels comfortable in your body today. Roll the shoulders away and bring your attention to your breath. Slow, deep breath, breathing in through the nose and releasing through the nose. Keeping the breath through the nose for the whole practice. And just watch you down as the shoulders creep up, keep rolling them back, lengthening up through the crown of your head and focusing on slow, deep breath. Deep inhales and deep exhales. Just trying to find the stillness within your body, focusing on slow, deep breath. Taking a moment here to remind yourself what motivated you to practice today, setting an intention for your practice, and then coming back to slow, deep breathing, breathing in through the nose, and breathing out through the nose. And then lengthening the inhale, and lengthening the exhale, working on counting in, two, three, four, holding the breath, and then exhaling, two, three, four, holding the breath before inhaling, two, three, four, holding, exhale, two, three, four, holding, and continuing like this, breath moving and flowing, slow and deep, in through the nose, out through the nose, body relaxing, Round of your head lengthening up, keep the shoulders down, slow, deep breath. And then releasing the counting, coming back to slow, deep breaths in and out through your nose. Taking your two arms to face each other, crossing the right arm over the left, so cross the elbows, and then working on the hands together. Inhale, reaching high as you can. Exhale, soften and release. Again with your breath on your inhale, reaching the arms up high as you can. Exhale, soften and release. Once more like this, reaching up high as you can. And then exhale, soften and release. Uncross the arms, take them to face each other. This time left comes over right. So get the elbows together, then we work, working the wrists. Reaching up high as you can. Exhale, releasing with your breath, reaching up really high. Exhale, soften and release. And once more, reaching high as you can. Exhale, soften and release. Uncross your arms, take your arms out to the side. Now I want you to really stretch into your fingers. Stretch like you're touching both sides of the room. Shoulders are relaxed, lengthening, open up the heart, chest and lungs. Keep sitting up really tall, shoulders stay relaxed, reaching into the fingertips, open up the body. Make sure your thumbs are pointing down, stretch, reach, lengthen. Then reach around, interlace your hands behind your back. So you wanna really open up the chest, hands reaching towards your bum. Deep inhale through the nose and as you exhale, Folding forward, working your forehead towards the floor. Now, if your forehead does not reach the floor, that's fine. Just going to your own maximum, listening to your body, and keep the breath going. If your forehead easily reaches the floor, place the nose on the floor, and keep working the arms up overhead. Wherever you go to is absolutely fine, just feeling the chest, heart, lungs, shoulders opening. Keep breathing through your nose the whole time, and then slowly round the body, coming all the way back up, Reach your hands towards your bum again, and exhale and release. From here, lying down onto your backs. Lying down, feet flop out, palms face up. Making sure the back of the head and shoulders are comfortably in contact with the floor. And again, bringing your attention to your breath. Slowing it down, focusing on deep inhales, deep exhales, head, shoulders. Everything melting into the floor. Keep breathing all the time. Feeling your whole body relaxing into the floor beneath you. 
When you're ready, take your right knee into your chest. Interlace your fingers around the right knee. Move that knee out to the side. Now use your arm strength to draw that knee tight as you can so your knee is coming up to your shoulder. You want to interlace the fingers and draw that knee in. Keeping the left leg flat on the floor, you want to feel a pinch at the top of that right hip. Head, neck and shoulders are completely relaxed and you're drawing the knee in, breathing slow and deep. And then exhale, release that right leg down. This time left leg comes up. Again, you interlace your fingers. So you really want to keep the fingers interlaced. You want to feel a pinch at the top of that left hip, drawing the knee in as much as you can. Head and shoulders completely relaxed. And then slowly and gently releasing the left leg down. This time you're taking both knees off the floor. Lift your head up. Now hug around your knees, reaching each elbow if you can. If you can't reach the elbows, forearms or wrists are just fine. And then you replace your head back down the shoulders. Now use your arm strength here to draw the knees in tight as you can, using the lower back strength to release the lower back towards the floor. Arms drawing you in, lower back releasing you, and you keep breathing. Slow, deep breaths the whole time, knees drawing in, lower back releasing. You're looking down the centre of your body, pinching both hips, and then slowly release, allowing the legs to flop out and breathe slow and deep. So remembering to keep the breath through the nose, throughout. Feeling your body moving and flowing. And then when you're ready, lift the right leg up high as you can. So you want to point the right toes towards the ceiling. Left leg is completely relaxed on the floor, holding here. So really point the foot, exaggerate the opening at the front of that foot. Head, neck and shoulders is completely relaxed. Now point the toes towards your face, back of the heel towards the, the ceiling. And either take hold at the back of the thigh, if that's easy, you take the back of the calf, back of the ankle, or you reach up and take hold of your big toe. Now watch the left foot must remain completely on the floor. Don't let the knee pop up, both legs are straight, heels coming towards you, toe towards, toes towards your face. Head, neck and shoulders relaxed. You want to feel a stretch here from the heel right up to the bum. Keep the breath going, slow and deep. Your head, neck and shoulders always relaxed on the floor. You're lengthening from the heel right down the leg. Keep breathing and then releasing your grip, switching on your tummy muscles and slowly and gently use your abs to slowly release that foot all the way to the floor. Both feet flop out, hands relax and taking a moment here to breathe. You should feel now that one leg is a little bit longer than the other. You've released any stress or tension from that leg. You keep the breath through the nose. And then inhale, lift the left leg up high as you can. So you want to point the toes towards the ceiling, keeping both legs flat on the floor. Really lifting that leg up high as you can. Keep breathing, toes pointing up, slow, deep breaths. Then heel towards the ceiling, toes towards the face, taking the back of the thigh. If that gets comfortable, you take the back of the calf or the ankle, or again, you reach up and take your toe. Most important here is that the knees don't bend. Don't let the knee bend, you want to kick into the heel, toes towards your face, right leg stays completely relaxed on the mat. Hip stays down, both legs are straight, toes towards your face, heel towards the ceiling, lengthening out the back of the leg, head, neck and shoulders. Keep relaxed, keep breathing. And again, release your grip, switch on your tummy muscles and slowly and gently control through your abs Gently releasing that foot all the way to the floor, slow and controlled. Feet flop out and you breathe. So enjoying the feeling of the body opening and lengthening. Keep coming back to your breath. Keeping it always through your nose and releasing any tension from the body. From here, bend the knees, feet hip distance apart. So you want to feel the feet flatten the floor, knees are bent. Working on the hips now, cross the right ankle over the left knee and begin by letting that leg just fall towards the floor. We're going to go into the outside of our hips. So the knee is just opening up, no stress or tension, upper body completely relaxed. From here, lift the right leg, left leg off the floor, reach around, interlace your 10 fingers around that left leg. Now use your arm strength here to draw that knee close as you can in towards your body. You want to feel a stretch in the outside of the right hip, hip, thigh, bum. Arm strength, drawing that leg in as much as you can. My head, neck and shoulders are completely relaxed. 
each exhale. See if you can go a little bit further, listening to your body. And then slowly and gently release the left foot down. Uncross the right leg, doing the same again to the opposite side. So left ankle crosses over the right knee. Left knee completely relaxes towards the floor. You want to open up the front of that hip. Just feel the front of the left side opening. Breath slow and deep. And then lifting the right leg off the floor. Interlace your 10 fingers around the back of the right leg. And again, use the arm strength here to draw it in tight as you can. You feel the outside of the left hip thigh bone area opening up. Your arm strength is drawing in that knee close as you can. Upper body is relaxed. And you're breathing slow, deep breaths the whole time, in and out, through the nose. And then slowly and gently, right foot uncross, releases to the floor, uncross the left leg. Now keeping both feet hip distance apart, reaching your fingers towards the back of the heels. Now my upper body is relaxed on the floor, shoulders are broad, back of head on the mat, feet hip distance apart, pressing into the floor, fingers reaching towards the heels. On an inhale, I begin to tuck my pelvis towards the back of my knees, pressing into my feet, and I slowly and gently curl the lower body off the floor, middle back off the floor, upper back off the floor. So we're just coming up onto our shoulders, upper back completely relaxed, pressing into the feet, hips up, hands flat on the floor. Keep the breath slow and deep, keep pressing into your feet. Each inhale, see so if you can come a little bit higher. And then slowly and gently, just as slowly as you went up, I release my upper body first, little by little, each vertebrae coming down. Slowly then, my middle body comes down. Really gently, lower body comes down, back of the pelvis and tailbone last to come down. Okay, once more like that, making sure that you lift up and release down just as slowly. Feet flat on the, flat on the floor, hands relaxed by your sides on an inhale. Tuck the tailbone towards your knees, press into your feet and slowly and gently begin picking up, coming all the way up, hips up towards the ceiling, pressing into your hips, get those hips all the way up, press into your feet, lift the hips up, chin is coming towards the chest, pressing up, lifting up, shoulders are relaxed, each inhale going a little bit higher and then slow and controlled, gently releasing. So I'm releasing my upper back first. Keep the control, slowly and gently. My middle back comes down, lower back, pelvis and tailbone. Take your knees into your chest and just gently rock your body forwards and backwards, side to side and then cross the ankles over. Take hold of the feet and rock yourself up to a seated position. From here, coming onto your hands and knees, have a look to make sure your knees are directly under your hips. Fingers are spread out wide. Shoulders, elbows and wrists are all stacked directly on top of each other. On an inhale, press into your hands. Belly button comes towards your spine. Change the chest and arch the back up. So you really want to press firmly into your hands. Chin is towards your chest. Belly button in. And then exhale slowly and gently. Dipping the back. Eyes look up towards the ceiling. Again, on your inhale, belly button towards the towards the spine, chin to the chest, pressing into the hands, arching the back, high as you can. So really press into the hands here. Separate the shoulders, just feeling the spine moving, arching up high as you can. Exhale, soften and release. Bum sticks out, eyes look up, dipping the lower back. Once more like this, chin to the chest, belly button to the spine, pressing into the hands, arching up high as you can. Keep breathing. Your gaze is towards your knees, towards your navel, whichever is easier. Exhale, soften and release. Bum sticks out, eyes look up towards the ceiling. Coming back to a flat spine, from here I want you to extend your left leg out behind you, reaching into your right finger. So keep your tummy muscles tight to avoid wobbling. Stretch and reach into your fingers, into your toes, and then exhale back to centre. This time reaching into the left arm, right leg stretches out behind you. Squeeze your tummy muscles tight as you can. Reach into the fingers, reach into the toes and coming back to centre. Again, opposite arm and leg. So really use your core muscles to stop the wobbles. Watch you're not rolling to one side. You want to keep the hips level. Stretch and reach. Coming back to centre. Opposite arm and leg. Reach into the fingers, reach into the toes. Spread the hands, that flat hand out onto the floor. 
Keep reaching and exhale back to centre. From here, placing your right hand into the middle of the mat, knees stay hip distance apart. Inhale, reach up with the left arm and look up at the left thumb. You want to stretch hip, ribs, shoulders, opening up, look up, stretch up. Exhale back to centre. Left hand in the middle, right arm reaches up. So reach, twist, stretch and lengthen. Hips opening, shoulders opening, stretching up, trying to touch the ceiling. And coming back to centre. Again, right hand in the middle, left arm reaches up, stretches up, twisting hips, ribs, shoulders, reach up high as you can. And coming back to centre. Last time, opposite side. Reach up, stretch up. So get the twist. Feel the opening. Hips, ribs, shoulders. Opening up, stretch up. And then coming back to centre. From here, spread the fingers out nice and wide. Take your bum back to your heels. So stretch the bum back. And then inch the fingers forward and drop your forehead onto the mat and breathe. So you really want to inch the fingers as far forward as you can while sinking the bum back to the heels and forehead relaxed on the mat. Come back to the slow, deep breath. In through the nose, out through the nose. Inching the fingers forward, working the bum towards the heels as much as you can. Feel the length down the sides of the body. Keep the breath going, real slow, steady breaths. Note, release any tension from your breathing. Inching forward and sinking back. And then slowly and gently, walk the hands back into the knees. Take the knees together, sitting up tall as you can on your knees. On an inhale, take the arms out to the side. I want you to close the hands together, cross your thumbs and squeeze your ears with your biceps. You want to keep the ears squeezing on, or keep the biceps squeezing to the ears. Reach up high as you can, engage your tummy muscles and slowly and gently folding forward, coming all the way down. Allowing the knife edge of your fingers to reach the mat. Then you sink the bum back to the heels. So you're inching the fingers forward. My wrists are up, it's just the edge of my fingers on the mat. Bum is back on the heels. And then I drop my forehead down. So inch those fingers forward, sink the bum back. Forehead comes onto the mat. Wrists are up, edge the fingers only on the mat. And you keep squeezing those hands together. Reaching forward, sinking back, keep breathing. Keep the breath through the nose. And slowly and gently, ears come in between the biceps again. Switch on those tummy muscles, engage your core, lift yourself all the way up. So your strong tummy lifts you right back up and then releasing the arms down by your sides. Okay, from here, coming onto your hands and knees. Again, make sure the fingers are spread out wide as you can. Tuck your toes under, and I want you to sink your bum back towards your heels to begin. Have a look at your hands. Make sure the middle finger is pressing forward. Fingers spread out wide as you can, and you want to feel length in the lower back. Then lift your knees off the floor. Begin sending your bum towards the ceiling, and then drop the heels, lengthen out the legs, and drop the neck. So your fingers are spread out wide, shoulder distance apart, middle finger pressing forward, index finger and thumb pressing firm as you can into the mat. Neck is relaxed, you're looking towards your knees, feet are hip distance apart and you stretch your heels back as far back as you can towards the mat behind you. Neck completely relaxed, breathing slow, deep breaths. So this is downward dog and while you're in downward dog you want to really feel the breath deep and full into the lungs. Breathing all the way in, filling the back, sides, front of the lungs and releasing the same way. Your gaze is towards your knees, feet hip distance apart. You want to really feel the legs lengthening towards the floor behind you, stretching the heels towards the floor. Doesn't matter if your heels don't reach the floor, but just lengthening them as much as you can. Bend the left leg, look to the right armpit and straighten and stretch that right leg towards the floor. Breathing slow, deep breaths in and out through your nose. Stretching the right heel away from you. Inhale, come to center. This time bending the right leg, looking to the left armpit. So your left leg is lengthening away, pressing into your hands. Slow, deep breath. Inhale to center. Once more to each side. Left leg bends, right leg straightening into the floor. Inhale, center. 
Right leg bends, look into the left armpit and inhale to centre. Now bend the knees, look between the hands, this time take a step forward with your right leg and just drop that left knee towards the floor. You want to feel the front of that left thigh opening up, front of the left hip, knee releasing towards the floor. Keep breathing, small pulsing moves towards the floor and then step back into downward dog again, pressing into your hands. Bend the knees, this time take the left foot forward in between the hands and again, small pulsing motions, taking that right knee towards the floor, really gently opening up the front of that right hip. From here, take the right foot forward, keeping the feet hip distance apart and hold on to your elbows, dropping your head towards the floor. So you really want to work here on lengthening from the heel right up towards the bum. Both feet are hip distance apart. You drop your head, stretching your elbows towards the floor as much as you can. Really working here and getting the elbows as close towards the floor, keeping the legs straight. Now watch you're not pushing into the back of the knees. You want to use the front of those thighs to really, really support the knee, lifting the front of the thighs towards the hip. Weight the head, releasing you little by little towards the floor taking the weight more forward into your toes and reaching a little bit closer towards the floor. Neck is relaxed from here. Hands come onto the hips, chin on the chest, press through the feet, roll all the way up, head last come up and lightly jump your feet back together. Taking your hands in prayer in front of your heart, coming back to your breathing, closing the eyes here for a moment. Allow the shoulders to completely relax down your back. Lengthening up through the crown of your head. Tummy muscles engaged. Feet pressing firmly into the mat. Slow, deep breaths. We're going to win some sun salutations now to put warm the body up from the inside out. If you need to take rest at any stage, take rest. Otherwise, arms relaxed by your sides. We're standing with our toes and heels together, shoulders relaxed down. So tummy muscles are engaged, keep the tummy muscles engaged, protect the lower back, shoulders completely relaxed, arms by your sides. We're going to take three deep full breaths here to begin, so inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose, slow and deep as you can, another inhale, feeling your feet in contact with the floor, crowning your head, lengthening up, exhaling. And the last breath. Exhale fully. From here, inhale, float the arms out to the side. So you really want to stretch up into the fingertips, look up towards your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, coming all the way down, fingers reaching towards the mat, looking towards your knees. Inhale, look forward. From here, bend the knees, taking the right foot back and the left foot back, and you hold here in plank position. So stretch those heels away from you, holding in plank, watch you're not dipping the back or have your bum up in the air. Then from here, dropping onto your knees, uncurl your toes, elbows bend towards the waist, slowly and gently, chest comes down. Inhale, float forward, look up. Exhale, coming flat back down, tuck your toes under, and we lift into downward dog. So you've got five breaths here in downward dog. Make sure your fingers are spread out wide, hands pressing firmly into the mat. Your neck is relaxed, you're looking towards your knees and you breathe slow, deep breaths. Keeping that breath going the whole time. Heels stretching away from you, lengthening the inhale, lengthening the exhale. Holding here for five breaths. Bend the knees, look between the hands. Right foot comes forward, left foot comes to meet it. Inhale, float the arms all the way up, stretch into your fingers. Exhale, fold forward, come all the way down, drop your head. Inhale, looking up, this time we're going to the left side. Left foot goes back, right foot goes back and you hold here. Strong tummy muscles, holding. And dropping onto your knees, uncurl your toes. Elbows bend towards the waist, chest comes slowly towards the floor. Inhale, float forward looking up. Exhale, come flat back down, tuck your toes. 
Lifting into downward dog again. Again, five deep breaths. Feet hip distance apart. Gaze towards your knees. Tummy muscles drawing into the spine. Long, slow, deep breaths. Bend the knees, look between the hands. Left foot comes up, bend the right foot. Inhale, float the arms all the way up, stretch into your fingers. Exhale, arms come down by your side and breathe. Okay, and so our last sun salutation. Inhale, reach up, stretch the fingers up, look up towards your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, coming all the way down, hands to the floor, dropping your head. Inhale, look up, now bend the knees, take the right foot back and the left. Holding here in plank. Weight going equally from the shoulders into the elbows, into the wrists. Squeeze your tummy muscles as tight as you can. Drop your, out, drop your knees, untuck your toes. Elbows bend, chest comes down. Inhale, float forward, look up. Exhale, coming back down, tuck your toes. And lift into downward dog. Fingers spread out, pressing into the mat. Five breaths here. Look between the hands, right foot comes up, left foot comes up. Inhale, float the arms all the way up, stretch right into your fingers. Exhale, fold forward, coming all the way down. Inhale, look up, bend the knees, left foot steps back, right foot steps back and you hold in plank. If plank is getting too much, you can drop onto your knees at any stage. Otherwise, on your toes, stretching into your heels, tummy muscles engaged. From here, drop onto your knees, uncurl your toes. Bend the elbows, chest comes slowly in between the hands. Inhale, float forward, look up. Exhale, flat back down. Tuck your toes and lift up into downward dog. Holding here for five breaths. Keeping the breath slow and deep through the nose. If you need to at any stage, coming down into child's pose to rest. Slow and deep with the breathing. Bend the knees, look between the hands, left foot comes up, bend the right foot. Inhale, float the arms up, stretch right up into your fingers. And exhale, take your hands to prayer in front of your heart. And just pausing here. Tuning into the changing sensations in your body. Feeling your feet rooting you into the earth. Tummy muscles lightly drawn in. Crown of your head lengthening, shoulders relaxed, and just tuning into the changing sensations in your body. You'll be starting to feel a little bit warmer, your heart beating a little faster, energy moving through your body, and you want to slow all this down by focusing on your breathing. In through the nose, out through the nose. From here, taking your hands onto your hips, lightly jump the feet hip distance apart. On an inhale, look up towards the ceiling. If you have any back problems, bend the knees, otherwise exhale, hinge forward, lengthen with the chin, coming all the way down, and then release your hands. Now you're going to use your index finger and your middle finger to hook around your big toes, keeping the legs straight. If you can't reach your, your toes, hold the back of the shins, back of the ankles, wherever you can reach on your body is absolutely fine. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale, bend the elbows out to the side, drop your head. So you want to keep the legs really straight here. Watch you're not pushing back into the knees. You want to lift the front of the quad of the thigh, lifting that up towards the hip. Weight is in your toes, using the arm strength to fold forward, little by little, feeling the length from the heels right up towards your bum. Neck relaxed, keep pulling on your toes, folding more and more forwards. 
Inhale, gaze forward. This time, stepping right up, taking your toes to your wrists. Now, if your hamstrings are tight, staying with the first part, will be the back of the calves, back of the ankles. Otherwise, if you're comfortably grabbed your toes, trying to step with your toes right up onto your wrists. Again, folding forward, lifting the kneecaps up with the front of those thighs. Neck is relaxed. Take the weight a little more forward. Hips are up. Keep breathing. Slow, deep breaths. You're looking at the tip of your nose. Keep breathing through the nose. And then inhale, gaze forward. From here, taking your hands onto your hips, chin on your chest, press through the feet, rolling all the way up. Lightly jump your feet back, arms come down by your sides. Okay, we're gonna do some wide-legged poses now, so just be careful that if you're wearing socks, your feet don't slip and pressing your toes firmly into the mat throughout. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, stepping out to the right. Palms come down immediately. Now you want to take your arms right out to the side, stretching into the fingers, heart, chest and lungs opening. Have a look at your feet. Your ankles should be directly under your wrists. From here, taking your hands onto your hips. Inhale, look up, lengthen up, up front of your body. Again, any back pain, you bend the knees. Otherwise, hinge forward, lengthen down, coming all the way down, all the way down to the floor. Re reaching your hands towards the floor. If you can't reach the floor, you just dangle with your fingers, stretching towards the floor. Keep lifting up with your thighs, pressing into your feet, taking the weight of your head forward, elbows back between the legs, and you keep breathing. So press the baby toe side of your feet, firm as you can into the mat. Toes pressing into the mat, heels pressing into the mat, hands are on the mat. You're working and taking your hands in line with your toes, keeping them shoulder width apart. And little by little, you work towards taking the weight into your toes, crown of the head reaching towards the ceiling, towards the floor. Keep breathing, slow and deep. If you're still stretching for the floor, just little by little, taking the weight into your toes. You've got to keep lifting up with the front of the thighs, squeezing the inner thighs together. Imagine there's a big beach ball in between your inner thighs. From here, inhale, look forward. Exhale, hands come out to the hips. Inhale, roll all the way up. Inhale, arms come out to the side, going again with our arms behind our back. So reach around, interlace your hands, reach your hands towards your bum. Look up and lengthen forward, coming all the way forward. Arms come up overhead, breathing slowly and deeply. So you really want to work the feet here. Press those baby toes into the ground. Neck is relaxed, lifting up into the front of your thighs. Breathing slowly and deeply the whole time. Each breath, working a little more forwards. Resist the urge to bend the knees here. You want to keep lifting up those thighs, squeezing the thighs together, pressing into your feet, taking the weight a little more forward into your toes. And then inhale, roll all the way up, all the way up, reaching your hands towards your bum. Float the arms out to the side, taking the hands onto the hips. Again, inhale, look up, Exhale, hinge forward, lengthen all the way down. This time we're working on taking your toes. Now if you can't take your toes, taking the back of the calves, back of the ankles is just fine. If you can take your toes, if you hook onto your toes, and again, drawing on your toes, taking the weight forward, working your head towards the floor. Elbows bend up, using the arm strength here to draw yourself more and more forwards. Keep breathing, slow deep breaths. Pressing into your feet, crown of the head lengthening towards the floor. Keep the breath slow and deep. If you're holding the back of your calves, you use your arm strength to fold your body over in half. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale, hands to hips. Strong feet, roll all the way up. Inhale, arms come out to the side. And as you exhale, stepping back towards the front of the mat, shoulders relaxed, breath slow and deep. Standing at the front of your mat again, shoulders relaxed down, tummy muscles engaged, coming back to your breath, slow and deep, in and out through your nose, moving into Trikonasana Triangle Pose, taking a step out to the right, hands come up facing the floor, both toes begin facing forwards, from here right toes come out, now really turn those right toes out and then reach to the right and pivot the body down, right arm comes to the right shin, left arm stretches up towards the ceiling, reaching down with one arm, stretching up with the other, Twisting, hips, ribs, shoulders, everything stretching up. Look up at that top thumb and stretch. You want to feel the heart and lungs opening here. Twisting ribs, shoulders, everything opening up. 
and then inhale, press into that foot, rolling all the way up. Right toes turn in, left toes turn out. Again, reaching towards the left, and then bringing the left arm down, right arm stretches up. So your left arm is stretching down, right arm reaching up towards the ceiling, and you're twisting hips, ribs, shoulders, everything opening. Look up with that left thumb, right thumb, and stretch up, breathe, slow, deep breaths. Inhale, coming all the way back up. Turn the left toes in, and again we step back towards the front of the mat. Slowing down your breath. Keeping the breath slow and deep, in and out through your nose. And then inhale, reach the arms up, stretch up into your fingers. Exhale, fold forward, reaching towards the floor. Inhale, looking up from here as you exhale, stepping back into downward dog. So you're in downward dog, your bum is up, your heels are stretching towards the mat, neck is relaxed, breath slow and deep. Breathing fully into your lungs, then pivot, turn the left foot parallel to the back of the mat, right foot comes forward. We're coming up into warrior one. Inhale, float the arms all the way up. Look up at your top thumbs. Make sure that your thigh is parallel to the floor, knee directly over the ankle, and knee pointing towards the baby toe side of the room. Keep breathing, slow and deep, stretching up into those arms. Look up, back foot pressing firmly into the mat. Opening up into warrior two. Again, make sure the thigh is parallel to the flat to the mat. Reaching into the fingers, make sure your back arm is the same height as your front arm. Gaze over the front middle finger. Slow, deep breaths, tummy muscles engaged. Weight directly over the front of your body. And then as you exhale, take the hands to either side of that right foot. Step back into downward dog. Slow, deep breaths. Pressing firm as you can into the mat. Neck is relaxed. Breathing all the time. Slow and deep. Using the downward dog here to get your breath back. Breathing full as you can into your lungs. And then we're going to do the same again to the other side. So right foot turns parallel to the back of the mat. Big step forward to the left foot. Now get that left knee directly over the ankle. Inhale, reaching up into warrior one. Looking up at the thumbs, stretching up into the fingers. Reaching up, back foot, baby toe side, pressing into the mat. Slow, deep breaths. Then opening out the arms, coming into warrior two. Again, gazing over the left middle finger. Left thigh parallel to the floor. Right foot stretching back. Shoulders relaxed, reaching into the fingers. Weight directly over the center of your body. And then taking the hands to either side of the foot, stepping back. Slow, deep breaths. Keep breathing, slow and deep. Press the hands into the mat, stretching the heels away from you. Slow, deep breath the whole time. Bend the knees, look between the hands. Take the right foot up and the left foot up. Inhale, float the arms all the way up. Reach into your fingers. Arms come down by your sides. Okay, from here, taking your hands in prayer behind your back. If you can't take prayer, you hold on to your elbows, opening up the chest, heart and lungs. If you've got prayer, make sure the little fingers are together, hands together, elbows pointing back, opening up the shoulders. Stepping out to the right again. Then pivot on the heels, taking both hips to face forwards. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hinge forward and lengthen down. So you want to press into the feet. Two heels are in line. Neck is relaxed. Breath slow and deep. Keep the tummy muscles drawing in. Nice and strong. Little by little, you're dropping. Working eventually, getting your nose towards your knee. If you're not there yet, it's okay. No matter on your hamstrings, you might be here or a little bit lower. Keep the legs straight, keep your tummy muscles engaged, and little by little, folding forward, slow, deep breath. Working both legs, tummy muscles engaged. Keep those elbows back, opening up the heart, chest, and lungs. Inhale, slowly roll all the way up. Pivot facing back towards the front, and then pivot facing to the opposite direction. So get the two hips pointing forward. Keep those elbows working backward. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, fold forward. So folding forward, 
Keeping both legs straight, your heels are all in line and your neck is relaxed. When you get to your maximum, you can drop either getting your nose to your knee, forehead to your knee, or holding wherever you are. You keep pressing into the feet, keep your tummy muscles engaged. Slow, deep breaths the whole time. Strong abs, elbows working backwards. Strong feet. Inhale slowly and gently, rolling all the way up. Pivot facing back to centre. And then coming to stand in the centre of your mat. Okay, we're going to cool things down now, going into some balance poses. First pose we're going to do is tree pose. So in order to do a balance pose, you've got to make sure you have your left, your standing foot planted really firmly into the mat. Spread the toes out and engage with something that isn't going to move. So we're going to start by taking our left foot, spreading the toes out really wide. Use the, the thigh to lift that kneecap up. Make sure you're not jamming into the back of the knee. Right foot can come to the ankle or the calf, or you take the heel right up towards the groin. Make sure the knee, knee going directly out to the side. When, when you've got your balance, you take your hands in prayer. So keep the shoulders down the back. Keep your tummy muscles engaged. Keep the big toes down. And just working on your breathing. Inhale, separate your arms, reaching right up into your fingers. Keep the shoulders relaxed, tummy muscles engaged. Big toe keeps pressing down. Focusing on something that isn't going to move. And breathing, slow deep breaths. Hands come to prayer above the head. Holding here. And then taking your hands in prayer in front of your heart. Shoulders stay down. Tummy muscles engaged. Feel your foot rooting you into the earth. And then releasing. Okay, taking the weight into the right foot this time. Left foot, again, coming to the ankle, the calf, where the heel comes high as you can towards the groin. Make sure you're pressing the foot into the thigh, the thigh into the foot. Big toe stays down. Then when you're ready, you take your hands into prayer. Crowning your head, lengthening right up towards the ceiling. Shoulders are back, tummy muscles engaged. Keep planting that big toe, firm as you can. And then inhale, separate the arms. Reaching up, keep the shoulders down the back, keep your tummy muscles engaged, knee going out to the side, slow, deep breathing. Reaching right up into your fingertips, and then take your hands in prayer above your head, holding here. Slowly and gently, hands come to prayer in front of the heart. Strong tummy muscles, and then releasing. Okay, from here, taking your seat onto your mat, two legs directly out in front of you. So you may want to move the flesh of your bum away, finding your two seat bones. Shoulders relax, sitting up tall as you can. Inhale, lengthen up through the front of the body, and as you exhale, you reach forward. Now, first of all, we're reaching for our toes. If you can't take your toes, using a belt or a sock and just grabbing around the toes. Otherwise, if you can reach the toes, fantastic. Or going a little bit further, and reaching around the outside of your feet. Inhale, lengthen up, and exhale, folding forward, looking towards your toes, and keep the breath slow and deep. Remembering the heels pressing away, toes towards your face, shoulders are relaxed, looking towards the big toes, little by little folding more and more forwards. Keep the breath slow and deep, folding forward, toes coming towards you, heels away. Slow and deep with the breath. If you're using a sock or a belt, little by little working your hands towards your toes. Keep the breath slow and deep. Inhale, lengthen all the way up, sitting up nice and tall. From here, opening your knees, they're in line with the outside of your mat. Take your left heel in towards your groin and just sliding forward, get that heel tight as you can towards your groin. Inhale, reach up the right arm and then pivot the right to the right side, taking hold of the right leg. Inhale, gaze forward, and as you exhale, you fold forward. Again, if you can't reach the foot on this side, just placing a towel, belt, sock around that foot is absolutely fine. If you can, you reach forward, working with two hands stretching equally, and then dropping your forehead towards your knee. Making sure that both arms are stretching, equal stretch both sides of the body. You want to feel this in your back. Keep pressing heel away, toes towards you. 
And then slowly and gently, rounding all the way back up, turning your body back to centre. Then left foot comes out, right heel comes in. Heel comes in high as you can towards the groin. You may want to slide forwards. And again, inhale, reach up as you exhale, twist the body, coming down over the foot. If you can't reach the foot, again, a belt, sock, toe around the foot is absolutely fine. Otherwise, reaching forward, lengthening the front of your body, two hands e reaching equally and little by little, dropping the nose towards the knee, forehead towards the knee, whatever you can do, and breathing slow and deep. Inhale, left up. Exhale, roll the body back up, twist the body back to centre. Two legs come straight out in front of you again. From here, take the right heel in as high as you can towards your groin. Right hand comes in at the base of the spine. So you use that hand at the base of your spine to lengthen up the spine. Inhale, reach up with the left arm. Left arm comes to the outside of the right knee. And then you twist and look over the opposite shoulder. So you're using the elbow against the knee to twist and lengthen, looking over the shoulder. Keep breathing. Looking for a new point behind you. Feeling the lower back, middle back, upper back. Twisting each exhale, going a little bit further. Slowly and gently, coming all the way around. Right leg goes out, left heel comes in. So getting that left heel high as you can towards the groin. Then left hand comes in at the base of the spine. So you use that hand to straighten up the spine. Right leg straight out in front of you. Inhale, reach up with the right arm, taking it to the outside of the left knee. And again, use the elbow against the knee to twist from the lower back into the middle back, into the upper back. Strong tummy muscles here. Use the elbow against the knee to twist and lengthen, trying to find a new spot behind you, looking right into the corner of the room, and then slowly and gently releasing all the way around. Last time, take your two feet out in front of you. Inhale, reach up, exhale, folding forward. Again, first option working for the toes, second option going a little bit deeper, third around the side, or fourth, interlacing your fingers. Make sure the heels are kicking away, toes towards your face, and just dropping your forehead to fold over, little by little, releasing the lower back. Keep the breath slow and deep. And then slowly and gently, Round the body, coming all the way up, head last to come up. From here, extend your two arms forward, keeping your heels on the mat, engage your tummy muscles and just hang back a little bit and hold. So you want to drop the shoulders, squeeze your abs in nice and tight, keep the heels on the floor. Any back pain, bending the knees, otherwise keeping the heels down, drop the shoulders, coming back a little bit more, strong tummy muscles. Keep breathing, soft faces, relaxed shoulders, slow deep breath. Coming down a little bit more, slow and deep. A little bit of shaking is okay. Relax the shoulders, hovering just off the floor. Really strong abs, make sure those shoulders don't creep up. Heels stay down, nice smiley faces, and then relaxing into the floor. Feet flop out, palms face up, giving yourself a few breaths here. In through the nose, out through the nose. Okay, so we're just gonna finish off today's practice with some relaxation. It's really advisable at the end of any practice to give yourself at least two to seven minutes to completely relax and unwind. So if you've got a blanket with you, socks, jumpers, just pop them over you now, making sure you're nice and warm as your body's going to cool down. So covering yourself up, lying down, letting your whole body melt and surrender into the floor. If you've got an eye pillow, you may wish to pop it over your eyes. Arms face up, feet flop out and you breathe. So really allowing the feet to flop out to the sides, palms face up, and slowing down the breath. Trying to lengthen your inhale, lengthen your exhale. And again, scanning your body here to notice if you're holding any tension in your body. You are imagining that you inhale peace and with each exhale you release.
Inhaling peace and exhaling release. Feeling your whole body melting and surrendering into the floor. Back of the head, shoulders, lower body. With each breath, your body relaxes a little bit deeper. And now bringing your attention to your right leg. Just squeeze your right leg from your hip down to your big toe. Lift that right leg an inch off the floor. Squeeze it, lock it, lift it, hold it. Just keep squeezing it and then release it. Repeating in your mind, I relax my right leg. I relax my right leg. My right leg is completely relaxed. Bring your body, bring your attention across your body to the left leg. Locking out your left leg from your hip down to your big toe. Lift that left leg an inch off the floor. Squeeze it, lock it, lift it, hold it. And then release it to the floor. Again, repeating in your mind, I relax my left leg. I relax my left leg. My left leg is completely relaxed. Moving your awareness of your body to your hips, pelvis, buttocks. Squeezing your hips, pelvis, buttocks. Squeeze your hips, pelvis, buttocks tight as you can. Lift them an inch off the floor, keep squeezing them and then release. I relax my hips pelvis, buttocks. I relax my hips, pelvis, buttocks. My hips, pelvis, buttocks are completely relaxed. Bring your attention to your tummy muscles, all the muscles of your chest. And just drawing your tummy in tight as you can towards your spine, squeezing the muscles of your chest. Really draw those tummy muscles in, squeeze the muscles of your chest, hold it here, and then release. I relax my tummy, and I relax my chest. I relax my tummy, and I relax my chest. My tummy and my chest are completely Bring your attention to your right arm. Squeezing your right arm from your shoulders all the way down to your fist. Lift that right arm an inch off the floor. Squeeze it, lock it, lift it, hold it, keep squeezing it. And then slowly and gently release the right arm down. I relax my right arm. I relax my right arm. My right arm is completely relaxed. From here, bring your awareness across your body to the left arm. Squeezing your left arm from your shoulder right down to your fist. Squeeze that left arm, lift it an inch off the floor. Squeeze it, lock it, lift it, hold it. And then release. I relax my left arm. I relax my left arm. My left arm is completely relaxed. Bring your attention next to your shoulders and your neck. Squeeze your shoulders, squeeze your neck. Lift your head off the floor, squeeze your shoulders, squeeze your neck, and then release. I relax my shoulders and I relax my neck. I relax my shoulders and I relax my neck. My shoulders and my neck are completely relaxed. Bring your 
bring your attention to your mouth, jaw, lips, squeezing your mouth, jaw, lips, tightening your mouth, jaw, lips, tight as you can, and then release. I relax my mouth, jaw, lips. I relax my mouth, jaw, lips. Feel my mouth, jaw, and lips are completely relaxed. 